Johanna. Johanna. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another little DIY gift video. Today's video is a little idea to make notebooks using doilies, specifically sandwich doilies, which I have mostly found at the thrift store or at little antique stores. So to do this, all you want to do is take your doily and attach it to some card. So I'm using glue just to show you that you can do it without sewing but I'm also going to be adding a little bit of sewing with my machine so you would just want to make sure that it's secured to some cardstock and of course you can take this whole idea and you can create a cover that doesn't include doilies but I just wanted to show how pretty these look as notebooks so here you see me gluing the doily to the card I put glue under and on top to stick it down really well and then I actually used my sewing machine and went around the border of the doily which is optional. After it was stuck down I took my scissors and I just trimmed off all the excess card. So I like to pull back the scalloped edging to do this to give me a nice little shape. Um, it's just a lot easier than cutting out a scalloped edge but you could cut out the scalloped edging if you wanted to. I'm just pulling back the edges to trim as close as I can to where I stitched. So now our doily is backed to card and now I just want to add some decorative paper to the inside. So this is also optional, you could just leave it blank, but I'm going to glue down some patterned paper onto the inside of the notebook so that it just looks a little bit more pretty. I'm just using some wet craft glue to adhere this. And I also used my sewing machine to reinforce the edges, but again, that's an optional step. And once it was stuck down, again, I just took my scissors and I cut around where the card ended so that the inside lining would be the exact same size and shape as the cardboard cover. Then I'm just going to fold the doily, which has been backed in card, in half. And then of course we have to create some inside pages. So I took some scraps of paper that I had lying around and some lined papers and I'm just going to fold them all in half. I recommend 10 sheets of paper is a good amount for a little notebook because then it doesn't get too full with a single signature um, binding. So once you've folded all your sheets of paper in half, you just want to cut them down to whatever size is going to fit in your notebook. I just measured one sheet and then I used that as a template to cut out the rest of the sheets to the correct size. And then I'm just going to choose 10 sheets to include in this notebook. I think when you add any more than 10 it can start to get too chunky, but you can add as many or as little as you like. And then you just want to pile them on top of each other with all of the folds in the middle touching. So like you see me doing here, you just want to arrange it in any order that you want. And then it should look like that. And once you're happy with how that looks, you can see this is how it's going to sort of sit inside the notebook cover. So the next step is to sew it into the book. And I promise you this is easy. If you haven't stitched a journal before, um, this is such an easy step and I'm going to go through really slowly so that you can give it a try. So you do need something sharp to poke holes. So I'm using an awl which is designed for this but you could use anything else that you have on hand like a needle or maybe even a nail or something like that. Um, but you want to poke a hole in the middle and then you want to poke a hole on either side. So I'm just using my eyes to measure but you could measure this out with a ruler if you want them to be exactly perfect. And then taking a needle and some thread, you just want to cut off a length of thread that's kind of long so that we can tie a bow after. But first of all, you just want to go through the middle hole from the outside. So starting from the outside 
and going through the middle you want to leave a little bit of excess thread to tie it later so a little bit of extra tail hanging out and then you want to go back out through either hole so it doesn't matter which one you want to go back out through either side hole and then back in through whichever side hole you haven't been through yet so sorry it's a little easy if you just watch what I'm doing but it's so so easy and then back out to the outside cover through the middle hole and that's it basically so I like to have each of my tail ends on either side of the stitch as you can see here and then you just want to tie it off in a knot or in a bow and make sure you double knot it so it's not going to come undone remove the paper clip and there you have a little notebook so it's so easy I promise you if you haven't done it before it might look daunting but it's not and once you do it once you'll be able to sew any kind of book that you like using this easy little sewing technique so there's a little look at the finished notebook and I just think these would make such cute little stocking stuffers and will be really handy to throw in a handbag for like shopping lists and stuff like that and just a really great way to put some of those pretty vintage linens to use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!